Leslie. And Lexi. Here at Light Elegance Headquarters in Redmond, Oregon. We're here to celebrate fall. Fall. Fall colors are yes. out. Glitters and uh, color gels. Exciting. Whoosh. Under the big top. Yep. Everybody likes a good circus, right? Yes. Woohoo! Yeah. So we're going to go through one by one and explain these fabulous fall colors. And I know a lot of you are ready for fall. Hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to gear up, but anyway, let's there, go through There's them. such good colors that you will be excited. Oh, yeah, you'll be so excited. Well, do you want to start it off? Okay, well, I'll start off with Ringmaster. Every circus needs a Ringmaster, correct? And the Ringmaster is a wonderful, I'm going to say, it's a cream olive green. Yes. Uh, it's a little, uh, I would say a little darker than, than the olive, uh, but it's a very... It's a green, but it's one of those greens that if you don't normally wear green, mm -hmm. you could wear because it's kind of, it's a, it, it's softer, um, it's not a bright green at all. Yes. So it is, it is darker than G.I. Jane, mm -hmm. and it is lighter than Don't Be Late. But what I love about this green is it's kind of the, it's like, how would you say it? The green of Puddle Play. Yeah. So it kind of has that a little bit of that milky gray green vibe. Really muddled. It's a little bit of a dark muddled green, and that's what makes it different than our than our current greens. Mm -hmm. So it does fall into a really cool category. And it's definitely like you just said, it's fall. Yes, it is such a fall color. Yeah. So all my green people out there, you got to try this one. But it's... even you people that aren't green, you might want to you might want to dabble in this. Yeah. I think the people that aren't green could uh, could go with it. Yes, it's very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. So, All it's right. awesome. So, I'm going to go with Main Attraction. Ooh. And this one is, the more I stared at it, I was like, this is an eggplant purple. It is. It's a dark purple. It almost has kind of a black undertone to it. Mm -hmm. And it's packed with shimmer. And the shimmer, when it hits the light, it's kind of a pink shimmer. So, you have that dark purple with the like a light pink shimmer. It's so rich and luscious. It really is. And um, the, a nice thing about it is, is that shimmer is really, really small in there. Mm -hmm. So if you see it, you see the eggplant purple. But if it gets into the light, it just captures a little bit of that pink. Yes. So it just kind of gives it a... That really fine shimmer is really fun. Yeah, it, it makes it fun. Um, this one, the other purple that we had was Purple Rain, and I do want to say this one's a lot darker. A lot darker than Purple Rain, yes. Once again, I'm going to say it's kind of like Ringmaster in the way if it's a purple, but if you are a person that's like, ah, I don't do the purples, you could do this one because it's dark enough. Dark enough, It has yep. enough black in it that yep. it, it puts it into that range where it's not really purple. Yeah. Uh, but it is. It, it is, is fun. It's sexy. It is sexy. It's a very sexy color. It's a sexy eggplant. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do eggplants, are, are eggplants sexy? Not really. Don't but, answer that. But I'll tell you eggplants what. Eggplants are already funny shaped. They are. But it is, and the name, it is a main attraction it with is. that shimmer. Boom. Yep. So that's exciting. And then we have, I have to even get my, um, it's showtime. Woo! And you got to say it like that. It's showtime. showtime. Got to get your spirit fingers out. Well, this one is packed full of shimmer. Yep. It is just it's all shimmer so when you put this on it just it's going to shine mm -hmm. as you can see here but the thing I like about that it's a neutral shimmer which sounds kind of funny um it's not a gold uh, it doesn't have you gold called it, in a, it you called it a fancy neutral it is a fancy it's neutral. a fancy neutral because neutrals can be kind of wah, wah. I no. mean they're safe and there's a place for them and they're very popular I get that but this one is so packed full of shimmer that it is, it, it's a fancy neutral. Mm -hmm. And it definitely... Uh, so, uh, Timey Tender is a lot golder. Yes. This one, it has the same amount of shimmer as Timey Tenderly, mm -hmm. but this one's more of kind of a, like a, a champagne it is. color. I want to say you can almost see a little bit of pink in it, but it's not a pink, but it, it's that it's that well, champagne neutral, kind of... Right. It kind of leans that direction. It, it, it's, it's a great fall neutral. Yes. A fancy neutral for fall. Mm. Right? Yes. Okay, so that, that, that one's fun. Great for an accent nail, too. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in with, I'll go in with Come One, Come All. I knew you would. She loves this one. Come One, Come All. Woohoo! So this one is a classic taupe. Is mm -hmm. that what you say? I, it's a I taupe. get mauve and taupe mixed up. Well, mauve, they're... Taupe, taupe, mauve. And everybody, ha I always say, everybody has their own idea of what a mauve and a taupe is. But to me, this is a true this is, taupe. This is a cream taupe. It's a gray taupe that pulls a little bit of purple mm -hmm. undertones. Mm -hmm. I would say it's kind of on the trendier side. It's like a conservative, trendy color. It is. 
But it, in some ways, it almost falls into the neutral line, though. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're safe wearing it, but yet it is a little trendy. Uh, and it's a nice cream. Selena, you're going to love this color. Selena will love it. The, it's, um, it's a classic. Yep. Uh, you can put that one on, wear it two, three weeks, and it's going to match with a lot of different things. Yes. So it's safe, but it's trendy. Yep. Kind of an oxymoron, but it really is what it Perfect is. Perfect for fall, once again. <laughs> and the next one is Bearded Lady, for all you bearded ladies out there. Do you every, have a beard? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I can't. No, but I shave mine every morning. You do? No. Oh. Lexi. <laughs> Did why, you really think? I don't know. Some people do the mustache, you know. I don't know. Oh, God, that is hilarious. I'm like, you could wax that. You don't have to shave it. Yeah, you've lived with me a lot of years. Did you ever see your mother in there shaving her beard? No. <laughs> That's funny. But every circus had the bearded lady, right? It's true. She fits uh, right What's in. that new movie out? I don't know. With no one's knowing, Lexi. <laughs> no, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't The think one, the musical with Hugh Jackman. Is that his name? Oh, okay, well, whatever. Let's skip this part. Anyways, the main character in it, she's there's a bearded lady in oh, the okay. movie. Well, we have a color called Bearded Lady, and it is your perfect cream brown. Yes. This is... I call it a hot fudge brown. Yes. Uh, it, we don't have anything like this. No. I didn't realize it's it. It's Hershey cream brown. Mm. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. But it truly is that perfect it's, medium brown. It, it, and it's it's not the um, hot, it's the hot fudge stuff. Not not the uh, chocolate stuff. It's the hot fudge because it's a little creamier. Yeah. This one is. But it, it, it's wonderful. It, it's uh, it's a staple in a line. Yes. And when we were looking at the light elegance line, we we're like, oh my gosh. We have nothing like this. Espresso Yourself is our only other brown, and that one is a lot darker. Mm-hmm. This one hits that medium it tone. It has a lot more black into it. But this is, yeah, excellent. And we've got some great glitters that are going to go with this one. Oh, yeah. So, Bearded Lady, she is cool. What's He's it called? pulling up a movie. What the is it? Show. The Greatest Showman. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> so go check that out. Go check that out. Now I'm, I'm promoting movies. <laughs> There's a bearded lady in that one Maybe if you'd we'll like. Maybe get some it. kind of um, royalty check yeah, from them yeah, or something. Yeah, there you go. We're just so famous, yeah. right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. okay, last but not least in the color family is Jester, Ooh, which I love one, that good name. One. And this one, I'd say, if you're looking to transition from summer to fall, this would be your color. It's a fall fuchsia, mm-hmm. so it's kind of bright enough to be kind of happy, but it kind of has that berry, darker it, undertone. So it's a really good transitional color. It is, and it's a true berry. That's what it yep, falls into. It is. The it's pinky, not the pink, pinky red. It's not the red. It's a berry, but it's it's an excellent. It's not too bright, so it is fall. I feel like it kind of brings the whole collection into because mm-hmm. everything's really dark. Right. And this one kind of is just a little bit of a brighter fuchsia, and it kind of ties everything in really nicely. It does. And you know, when we go into fall, we're ready. We're so, you know we're kind of, we're so tired of all the bright and all that. You're kind of getting over the spring and yep. summer colors. So people love going into the dark, but you, you got. If you're pull. holding on a little bit, though. To yeah, summer. It's, that's right. This is a good transition. It's, Jester is perfect. Perfect name for it, too, because it's fun. Yeah. And Jester. I can't wait to wear, like, all these. I know. I'm, I'm you're going to love every one of them. These are, you're such a fall person. I know. I, you're greens. and So that yeah. is the fall colors, and absolutely you need every single one of them, and you'll get so much use. Now we're going to go into the glitters. Yes. The good stuff. The good stuff. I'm going to start with smoke and mirrors. Oh, this, this one is, good. is amazing. Yeah. It is, when you look in that, when you open it up, you almost see like it's silver, but it truly has kind of that um, smoky, it has the silvers and uh, kind of almost a, a pinkish, grayish, yep. black. It's a pinky gray silver. It's hard to explain. But it, you're like you're right though. When you look out, it looks like smoke. It does. But it, and it blends just like smoke does, even though there's different colors in it. But it blends really well together. And what yes. I like about it is the silver in it gives it enough pop. So it is bright and it captures the light. Mm-hmm. But yet it brings it into that fall category because it does kind of have the the, the little bit of darkers that goes mm-hmm. through it. You this one's it antique. It is kind of an antique. An antique silver. But it's this one is really difficult to explain and we cannot do it justice. It is amazing. We have nothing And we like can't it. even compare it to anything no. that we have. Sterling and Silver Sparkle are like total no. silvers. This one is different. But it does have that silver pop to it. So it's yeah. it's, it's a tough one, but it's it's a must have. Love it. Uh, well, I'm going to go right into my favorite because I can't wait. I'm like salivating. <laughs> it's a good name for you, too. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to go. No, my favorite. Yeah, okay. Snake Charmer. This one is a black glitter base. Mm-hmm. with specks of blue and green. So it's really dark, it's really rich, 
Um, black glitters are hard to do. Right. Um, so the fact that this one is mi mostly black glitter, but it, it kicks that sparkle with the blues and the greens in it. And they're just tiny specks. They're tiny specks. So the main and part there's of multiple black. shades of blue. It is. There's like a turquoise blue, and then there's like a brilliant blue. So kind it, of a sapphire blue. Yeah, it's really neat. I could just like sit here like this all day. It's a snake charmer. It's charming you, Lexi. No, it's so pretty. And we have nothing nothing like it. If I could compare it to something, it would kind of be in like the Galaxy yeah, family. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, the Galaxy and Big Dipper family. But this is much more like rich and... Th those, the, the blues and the, the greens in it really go well. But the base of it is the black. And it just, it really looks good. And it's not a matte, so it shines, which is really exciting. Yeah. I'll do clowny well, around. I'm done. I already did my favorite. I'm out. No, you're not. Get back here. You're <laughs> going to help me out. I, I have to have you here. <laughs> clowny around. This is a fuchsia. And this one is fun. It has big chunks in it, as you can see, with tiny fine glitters mixed in. This one is a placer. So if you take it and scoop it down, it's going to kind of go all wonky weird on you. I kind of compare this to a little bit of the lace collection. It's not a mat mm -hmm. where the laces are, but as you lay it down, it's going to give you that pattern. Of you apply so, it the same way as you And it has lace. a little bit of empty space to it, which is what makes it so wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you have those big chunks that really capture the light and then the tiny ones kind of mixed in. Yeah. So it gives it a it's wonderful It's a 50-50 between big and little. So it does give it that dimensional look. It does. And you can throw any color underneath a fuchsia. I think so too. You could take a dark, you could take your blacks, you could take your whites, mm -hmm. you could take that taupe color. No, I think you, the bearded lady brown would look really good with that. That would be interesting. Yeah, there's... <laughs> I don't know about that. But I'd have to see. <laughs> Jimmy's laughing. He's like... <laughs> Main attraction. Main attraction would be pretty. Jester, yeah. But... Uh, it's fun, um, and like I said, it gives it that textured look. Once again, this will help you transition because it's bright enough where it'll take you from your summer into your fall, but absolutely fabulous, especially for the texture. Yeah. Okay, next is Fire Breather. <sighs> this one well, Wouldn't that be cool if we had flames coming out of our mouth? You know how they drink that stuff and then light it? Well, that, they do that in the circus. I know. Well, you or and I should have done it, though, is what I'm saying. Or they stick those things down their throats. <sighs> Oh. Yeah, we would have. So this is the brightest. Heads off. This is the brightest one of the collection. This mm. is a truly, what do you call it? The place where you want to stick your marshmallow. No, in the this fire. is when you're camping. You know, there's the flames of the fire, but you have to get those amber parts where you take the marshmallow and put it in there. Yeah, that's what that is. It's a bright amber glitter that so it has your orange, your red, your yellows Copper. all together, and it really does look like a bright amber. It is super fun. We do not have anything comparable to this. There's a glitter in there that I don't know where she found that, but it's one of those that is that super... Um, Touches the light. Super sparkle. I mean, it just really... F it flashes is yep. what they are, they call yep. it. Yep. It truly is a fire breather. And then um, next we're going to do a lion tamer. Every circus needs a lion tamer. This is a... I, mean, I want to be a Leslie tamer. Oh, that's a hard job. Oh, you just, you, oh, she wanted the whip. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wanted a whip for the video. She did. We I didn't get one. <laughs> she did. We told no, Lexi can't have a whip. That could be dangerous. <laughs> I'd like to see you tame me. Yeah, I wouldn't be no, very well, good. You wouldn't want to, would you? Well, yeah. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, Lion Tamer is a brown glitter. And yep. you know what? We, we got have to, none. We got to look good at our glitters. There is no brown glitter. Nope. So this is a good brown glitter with some highlights of a little more of your lighter, darker browns. There's some copper in it. There some is. Brown. So it's a little dimensional, but it's a very calm. It's not boom in your face at no. all. It's a, it's a classic. It's a classic it, staple for the collection. It is a classic staple, and it, it, it's a great brown. Once again, it'll go great with any all color. Of these colors, any here. colors. So yeah. you could put this one on. It's a whole bunch of fine glitter, so it's one of those that you could put on just a couple coats and not wear anything under it. Yep. I mean, it looks good solid. Yep. Um, you could all, in fact, that's probably how I would do it is just put it on solid. But if you did put it um, over the top of a black or a brown, it would even darken it, richen it that much more. Mm -hmm. So uh, Lion Tamer, uh, it does. It looks like kind of like a big lion. No, it's something that we really need and people have been asking for, for so. You have, so we, d we did it. Okay, last but not least is Daredevil. Ooh. They named this one after me. I'm, I'm sure you guys already knew that when I said Daredevil, but are you really a Daredevil? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you are, I guess. <laughs> so this one is kind of the shard pieces, so they're shaped all different shapes. Mm -hmm. And once again, it's a placer. 
Yeah. So you place it, you kind of float it over different colors. You could do two coats with it, but it gives the nail lots of texture. Lots. It's a texture glitter. It's chunky. It is half gold pieces and half brown pieces. Mm -hmm. So That's exactly what it is. And the way that, that the glitters are all different shapes, they're kind of bigger ones, but they're all different shapes. So it gives so much texture to the nail. Yeah, the dimension. I think this one is perfect for an accent nail. Yes. Lion Tamer with a couple accent nails um, with Daredevil. Uh, stunning. Yep. Absolutely stunning. So if you're feeling a little risky and you want to you want to put some dare on your nails. That's yeah. the one to go so with. So what's your big daredevil thing? How are you a daredevil? <clears throat> well, I'm wearing a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> she and her kids got fake tattoos this week. She just, I'm, I'm why she's wearing it is because she doesn't know how to get it off. Yeah, I know. It's been on for like a week. Everybody's telling her baby oil. <laughs> but I'm kind of daring right now, so. So daring. <laughs> Anyway, under the big top, it is the perfect fall collection. Yes. Every single one of these is a must, and it gives you a whole, a whole variety of mm -hmm. um, fall colors. So it's going to take you right into fall. Yes. So and they come in kits, the glitter yes. color kits. They also come individually as well. That's right. So and we have the minis in the colors. So oh, don't yeah, forget the those. Cuties. They're so they are cute. But it is fun under the big tech uh, top. Get your tickets now yep. for this uh, you show. You won't want to miss the show. It is the main event of all the colors. This so pre-order now and it will ship August first. August first they come out. Let's get ready for fall. Yes. High five. Yeah. Woo! Bye, you guys. Bye. Thank you.